Save America, kill the bill. That's my opening thought this evening. After listening to Joe Manchin at the Wall Street Journal CEO conference yesterday, I believe more than ever the bill is going to be paused and paused and then killed next year. Now, in just a moment, we're going to talk to foreign policy expert Senator Lindsey Graham to talk about the Russian crisis. So many unanswered questions and so many global risks involved with that story. But back to the fiscal front. Joe Manchin essentially blitzed the big government socialist so-called triple B spending bill, which gives me hope beyond hope. Now, some of the key points he made yesterday. You want me to go back to West Virginia and say, boys, if you can just stay unemployed for a little longer, you'll get a raise? No, none of this makes sense to me. On inflation, he said, 17 Nobel laureates were wrong. The Fed has dropped transitory. I want a strategic pause for spending and money creation. And then he said, there are huge changes in our tax structures, our social services spending, and our energy policy. If we get any of those wrong, we're in trouble. The West Virginia does not want universal health care. On the climate, he said, we're the only nation that has decreased our fossil fuel use. That, by the way, is a point I keep making. To grow the economy, we need more, not less, energy of all kinds. Mr. Manchin criticized Jay Powell on QE, saying he never took his foot off the pedal, and he thinks quantitative easing should end right now. By the by, the latest Wall Street Journal poll shows inflation is the number one problem in America today, and voters blame Joe Biden. More on inflationary spending, Mr. Manchin said, we've spent $5.4 trillion out the door. We have another $1.2 with the infrastructure bill. And I said, this is Manchin, and I said, $5.4 trillion. I couldn't get my head around 5.4. So I said, give me something to compare it to. Well, World War II, we saved the world. And then you had the Marshall Plan rebuild Europe. In today's dollars, that would be $4.7 trillion. So in other words, winning World War II and the Marshall Plan to rebuild all of Europe, all that combined is cheaper than what Congress proposes to spend right now. That's tough stuff. He also said we've got to have border security. And he also said the warning lights are up for a Democratic shellacking next year. And he doesn't care if he upsets progressives, saying... This is not the best job I've ever had. I'm not going to sell my soul for this. Don't be afraid to get defeated. He also talked about leaving the Democratic Party. And I will quote, if they would ask me to leave, I would just have to say, I guess I'll abide by your wishes, end quote. We will talk more about Mr. Manchin's views later in the show. But I would ask you folks, as you process all these statements from yesterday's talk, is he for the monstrosity tax and spend and regulate and woke socialism bill? Or is he against it? Which do you think we're hearing? I'm going to take the under. I'm saying he's against it. So things are looking good. Save America. Kill the bill. Save Joe Manchin. And let's stop Vladimir Putin.